welcome to my youtube channel men's graphics here and today i'm going to be showing you guys a very fascinating discovery that i've made uh, recently okay i don't know whether i can call this a photoshop clone on mobile but i think if i do that it might be a little bit condescending based on the fact that this is also available for pc yeah and the mind-blowing part about this is that um you can use this just in your web browser so you don't need an app to use this uh, website just for you to log in and then um, get into your browser any browser of your choice but actually for mobile i prefer edge based on some reasons and then for your pc you could actually use chrome or you could use any browser on pc but i have a reason why i use edge or mobile i think that's the smoothest i've gotten to experience this website um rather than using it on chrome i don't know it has some glitches on chrome even though um recently there has been some updates on this website that has actually reduced or has actually uh brought down the functionalities a little bit but it's still actually perfect i use it most times to do my designs and all that but I think that the funny thing that actually gets to me is the fact that this can actually open different um, file formats from different uh, design softwares. As you can see right here, you can see that it can open PSD files. It can open Adobe Illustrator files, Adobe SD, Figma, Sketch, PDF, Pro, and any image files right here on this website. And I've been using uh, this website for a whole lot of uh, reasons whereby that i don't always carry my laptop around mostly when i'm traveling or when i'm on the move so it's actually a go-to for me whenever i'm designing on the go i don't have to i don't have to um carry my laptop so i can just use this and it's actually very very beneficial to me okay looking at this now this is the home page or this is the startup interface and we can see we have um different um stuffs here um you can see this the home then this device uh for p drive this is a specialized drive for you to get your um designs if you want to save your um if you want to save your designs to the drive provided by photopea and then we have a uh, dropbox we have one drive we have google drive so there are a lot of drives right here that you can actually get to use okay so if we head over to home now in the home page you can see new projects open from computer templates that's something i really want to say for this uh, website if you're actually using this website on a device that doesn't have a high ram you might actually run into some issues based on your functionality and all that because i think um mobile phones has actually um reached a level whereby you can do a lot of things with them but i'll say there is a little bit of um lapses when it comes to actually giving you the same performance a laptop will give to you and also remember i told you guys that i prefer using edge than using um, chrome this is because of most browsers has um, a limited uh, allocation of space to use from your ram so let me just say i have a, a phone that has um, up to um up to 10 gig ram and then let me say your Chrome is allocated uh, to use um, like 5 gig RAM per, as the app is running. Yeah, I, I, I guess you get what, that's what I'm saying. So this causes a lot of lapses whereby that um, because of the limited storage assigned to Chrome, Photopea is actually a very, very RAM consuming software because this is just like you opening Photoshop on your PC. You know what your PC has to have, the specs it has to have for it to run Photoshop effectively so just boil that down to it trying to also run on your phone so you actually need a lot of um performance you actually need a, a high performance phone to actually enjoy the functionalities of this uh, website so um for me right now i'm actually using this on a samsung um, galaxy s20 plus so i think it has a 10 gig ram and i still have the ram extension feature uh, on but the only thing is that this will not actually influence the allocation of ram that i'll be able to get on my browser i don't actually know whether that is actually a function whether i can actually increase or reduce the allocation 
but um, what I'm going to be using is uh, a 10 gig RAM phone. And uh, for my performance, I think this is running on the Snapdragon 865, I think, so if I'm correct. So it actually gives you a boost for performance and all that. And then also the storage because this actually saves your designs in large format because most times you need to be saving each correction that you make and is actually space consuming but one thing about photo p is that um, if you are using this app there gets to be a point whereby you um you minimize your you minimize your browser app and you come back to your browser app only to find out that what you've been designing is actually cleared so how to avoid that is actually to use this website on a phone that has a high RAM. I think I've actually explained that. And then another thing you also like to um, do is that whenever you're using this, try your best to clear some of the apps that you are not on. Like me, whenever I'm designing, I actually use this on... I have my Edge to actually run the Photopea uh, website. And then I actually have my Chrome to actually search or download the image I want. You understand? So that's it. So when you head over to um, new project, you can see it's actually quite similar to Photoshop. Like we're doing a lot of Photoshop videos on this on this channel, so you can actually see that there's a lot of similarities. So the things I'm, I'm actually going to break down these videos into some segments. I'll actually create this as a playlist because I don't think I can explain everything in one video. You understand? So you have um, different um, size options. We have the Facebook page cover, I have the Facebook events image and Facebook group header and all that. You have the Instagram, you have the Insta story, Insta portraits, and then you can head over to print. The funny thing about this is that you can actually design what you want to print on A3, A4, A5, B3, lots of sizes, but you actually want to look out for this because whenever you design on A3, based on the fact that this is a higher, um, document size and then you have your dpi set at 300 pixels per inch that actually means that this will actually take you much time to design if you're using a low uh, performance phone because this actually takes much ram and um, much space because this is actually on 300 dpi if you have been watching my videos you get to understand that 300 dpi actually has a larger size compared to when you're using 72 dpi you understand okay but first of all let me point out here we have the new project the name the project name we have the size this is the width and the height we have the dpi then we have the background and all that and then we have whether you want to open it as an ad board you understand so you also have your color profile so exactly what you find in photoshop you understand but for now this is what we have right now so, okay, let me say we are going for, we are designing for Instagram and I head over to um, social and then I head over to Instagram. As you can see, the normal size for Instagram is 1080 by 1080 pixels and 72 DPI based on the fact that this is going to be used for mobile. So we don't actually need to set it on 300. The color, the background color is set on white and our color profile is set on RGB. So we can actually name this project Okay, let me say, let's name this um, design. Design. Okay. So now we head over to create. So now this is, um, this is what it looks like. This is what it looks like right now. So one thing about Photopea is that it's actually a free website, but you have to pay them if you want them to remove this ad. You understand? So normally I design on portraits. I design on portraits. Um, um, I design like my phone has to be on portrait um, alignment for me to design. I don't actually design on landscape, but I'm doing this based on the, or uh, based on this uh, YouTube video. So there's no way I can design this on portrait. I have to design it in a way that you guys will see it. You understand? So that's why it's looking like this. So you notice that the ad. The placement for the ad is almost blocking the whole design. But you can actually um you can actually work on that by paying for 
the full account. But for now, I'm not doing that right now. I'm still working on the basic, on the basic plan. You understand? There are a lot of plans. Like if you head over to account, or if you head over, okay, if you head over to more, I think if you head over to account, I think it's account. You notice that there is free. So for free, you get um, all features, and that's what that's one of the benefit of this app. Whether you're on the free platform or on the premium platform, you get to enjoy all the features. All the features of the app right here. But the only difference is that for your P drive, which is the storage drive, the stor the cloud storage uh, platform for Photo P, you can only access 0 0.5 gig. I think that's actually 500 MB. That's actually 500 megabytes. You can only access 500 megabytes, which is not that bad. But you designing Photoshop documents is actually, you can even design a file that just one file can get up to 500 MB. So it's not actually... It's not actually feasible if you look at it from that way. So now we also have um, the premium. So for the premium is that you get um, all the features. You get the P drive um, with actually 5 gig of cloud storage. So you're getting 5 gigabytes of cloud storage. If you pay for the premium version, this ad won't show. So I think you have much design space because once this ad goes off, it comes down a bit. So now you have 3,000 AI credits per month. So Photopea actually has an AI platform that can actually get images and it's actually quite cool to use that. And they have two X more steps in history. So I need to make more, I need to make more research on this. I need to make more research on what it means by two X more steps in history. And one thing I've also noticed about Photopea is that most times when your app closes or when your browser app closes um you notice that when you reopen it and log into photopea again most times it brings your design but it's not actually 100 percent accurate so it might actually bring back your design but the last area it must have saved might be um a correction you made a long while ago while designing so it, it may not bring out the the latest version of that design or the latest point you've got into that design that's why it is recommended that as you design you save even though it takes a lot of uh space but as you design you save so i'm just going to be talking about um about the app so i won't really be heading into the tools for now but we'll get to talk about that later so this is the two major um plans you have on photopea this is actually five dollars per month so, and one thing I love about it is that it's not a monthly subscription. So, if you pay $5, you're using it for one month. So, it doesn't renew. I think, I think, I think it doesn't renew because what I'm seeing here is no subscription, just one-time payment. So, what this might actually mean is that once you pay for a subscription, it doesn't renew on its own. I think we can go with that. I'm actually going to test it and see how it works. Okay. So now I have Go Premium. Okay, like we said, single user. You can actually go premium for even for a team. For a single user, you have for 30 days, $8, 90 days, which is uh, three months, $15, one year, $50. For a team of five, 30 days, $20, 90 days for $5, and one year. Under fifty dollars. So this is if you want to be using Photopea as a team, so your team can actually get in and work with you. Um, you can work on group projects. Whereby you come and work on a project, somebody can come and do some revisions on that project. You so that's what this is talking about. So now team setting, you can log in to create a lot of teams. But now I won't be logging in. I won't be logging in. I won't be logging in for now. So we have distributors. I don't know what that's talking about. I don't know what distributors means. They also have AI credits. So AI credits are only available to premium users. I'll try to see if I can um, actually subscribe to this and see how it works. And then I'll get back to you guys. But like I said, I won't be going delving into all the tools right now. That will be in the next video. So this video is all about an introduction to Photo P for now. And then um, 
there are a lot of things, there are a lot of things, like there are a lot of similarities to Photoshop right here. Like we have the move tool and we have the outboard tool. But like I said, I won't be talking about the two. Um, I won't be talking about the two right now. I won't be talking about that right now. So when it comes to um, using this for design, I think I'll be using my laptop to actually show you guys how you can actually use this for design. Okay, the reason why I actually um, advise people to go for Photopea instead of apps like Canva and um, Pixel app is because of if you don't have a laptop for now, Photopea gives you a smoother transition to Photoshop when you actually get your system. So if you don't have a laptop for now, it's easier for you to learn with Photopea because it will be a smoother transition to Photoshop than using Pixel app. So that's one of the benefits of this um of this website so it actually gives you a smoother transition to photoshop it's actually quite easy if you get to learn the hang of it but i'm going to try my best to outline the tools and then next we actually get to design with this so it will actually be a gradual process and all that so i'll be leaving this as a series thank you guys for watching do well to like comment share and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and turn on the description icon to get notified whenever I drop a new video on either Photoshop or Photopea. Thank you guys for staying through this video. Mess Graphics out.